Hello and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights 2, where we're storming the castle. How fun that is, but uh, we just level up right before storming the castle. So we should make use of that and level up, actually. So let us have a look. So we're uh, Heart Warden. Yep, still going with that. Uh, put some points in. Diplomacy, as always. Spellcraft, and that's it. And that's it. Yeah, sure, fine. No upgrades there. But spells, maybe? Maybe spells? Few spells, yeah. Okay, so I'll just add to that. Uh, maybe I'll do that off screen or something. Who knows? Actually, I can do this right now. Okay, so level 7. Let's see. I really like Holy Word, so let's throw that in there. Deal with mass groups of people. That is handy. Over here, another heal spell. That's pretty much what you need to focus on. Unless you're going to actually face off against undead, then you or elementals, then you grab either energy immunity or um, what is it? And and after death, and after death is really good against undead. So over here, um, since we are dealing mostly with. Uh, Last soldier, should I learn another confusion or another flame strike? You know what, these are wizards, so maybe a spell resistance here will be a good idea in some final battle against Garius. And I suppose we could learn more Hammer of the Gods, but you know, something different might be good. Death Ward's not that useful in this campaign, honestly. There's not that many instant death spells you're gonna get thrown your way. What does Castigate do? Take damage. You know what? We can give it a try. It uh, honestly, still, this is an area effect spell. I don't want to be a dick, but Hammer of the Gods here might just be better. It is such a nice, reliable spell. And for the first level, you know what? Throw in a remove fear. Who knows? Might just be what we need. Or maybe Divine, yeah, Divine Favor is good. Let's get Divine Favor. For a little bit of extra combat damage. Right. Yes. Nishka should be easy enough. Honestly, she doesn't need craft weapon anymore. It's mostly the thieving skills right now. Seventeens. And then we put the remaining points in set trap. Who knows? Could be fun. Something you want? Ah, she might be getting another feat, I imagine. She's a bit farther along. Yeah, okay, so. Specialization heavy. That actually seems like a good idea. Does she have improved critical short short yet? I can imagine she does. Yes. Weapons. She doesn't have weapon specialization. Well, that needs fixing. Yes. Recommend since she is leveling well. Oh, even she gets one. Okay, uh, tricky. Honestly, the dinosaur companion is tempting, but it makes no sense, so I'm not picking that one. Silver Fang Toxic Gift.
acid burns on all attacks for two rounds. Actually, what I think we'll get is I really like. Uh, you saw it earlier, elephant hide, gives you a huge amount of uh, natural armor for a very long time. So, oh wait, 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 wait! No, I should not be stupid. She needs to be our weapon crafter. So she needs. Uh, she already have craft weapons in commander's arm item. I guess she does. Well then, elephant hide it is. Because she yes. really does shouldn't be using her natural weapon too often. It's not that good in this game. So take a little bit of this, heal, yeah, be a good paladin boy. Oh and tumble, yeah, train in that. Evil, remove fear, yada yada yada. Mm. He already has like Warhammer scale, right? Yeah, he does. Sanctify strikes. So that's just the standard plus two extra of divine damage. That's quite good. Could give him improved critical on more hammers. Uh, that's it. I don't think he's very dexterous, so I don't think he actually needs the optimization really. I think I'll actually just give him the sanctified strikes. I would say yes. Yes. That isn't if you use a charge or something, right? Sanctified strikes. No, it is just a standard thing. I don't think you actually need to do anything for it. It's automatic. Yeah, okay, so it's just free I damage. Yes. Very cool. Alright. Charging on in. Charge! Surprise, motherfuckers! The doors! Get to the doors! We're under attack! You men, get back in there and seal the doors! Rally to me! Push these dogs back! Who are you calling dogs? Well, at least dogs are friendly to people and have loyalty. Right. I am gonna unleash like a sacred word here. That should, yeah, that basically just sends them all to a standstill. It's very nice. And I'm thinking maybe we should, uh, Set these two on fire. Oh, already uh, someone at it. Oh, he is on our side. Yeah, well, this is a nice slaughter thanks to that. Uh... Oh, that's a captain. Let's kill him. There we go. Yeah, Word of Faith is very good <laughs> when you're dealing with like a group of soldiers who don't have high willpower. Uh, let's see, what uh, finds it? Damn it, Nath! Seven! I want those doors open now! Sorry about the delay, this should only take a moment. It's alright, battles usually are unpredictable. Oh, we're, we're being counter spells. I don't think uh, we're going to be able to open this door from this side. Wonderful. Looks like the Brotherhood has a few tricks of its own. All right, backup plan. 
I know where this keep has an escape tunnel somewhere. I want you to find uh, the tunnel, tunnel exit, and uh, use it to get inside the keep. Once you're inside, kill whichever wizards are countering our spells. Then we can open the doors. The tunnel entrance would be in the mountains, far beyond these walls, where the invaders would likely not look. Or be unlikely to look. I will mark the likely region on your map. I'll likely have to go around then. Make it fast, Denson. Looks like the weather is about to turn against us. Right, so... Charge uh, halted, uh, very unfortunately. Let's see if there's not, like, you know, something uh, in these ruins to take. That the Luskin dogs. Oh, wait, we shouldn't call them dogs. The Luskin rats forgot, yeah. Luskins are akin to stinking wolf rats or something. Or mosquitoes. Blood drinking mosquitoes. Uh, that poke you and give you diseases and, and annoying itches. Yeah. Very appropriate. So, a nice bit of healing supplies. Discord. Well, I wasn't planning to communicate and chat with my gamer buddies, but there we have it. In game because Discord. Ah! But that is a bastard sword, I believe, which no one on my party can really use. But a shame, really, if you got uh, like uh, Chandra a bit earlier, somehow, you would, uh, you know, you could use those fighter levels to make her into a much more interesting fighter with. Yeah, for example, that you know, use a bastard sword or something. But no, she's specced in short swords, like some Roman legionnaire or some kind. So I have no idea if Discord is even any good. We'll have to have a look at it in a little bit. This is very nice, relaxing music for an epic uh, charge siege. Dead cat. How sad. More that cat! This is just grisly. Anyway, Discord. What type of weapon is that? It is a bastard sword indeed. The sonic damage. Quite good and creates confusion. So it would be, yeah, it would be a good sword if uh, anyone used, used bastard swords. Maybe you should actually just, you know, train uh, Casavir into using Bastard Sword. That way he's not cramping on uh, Kelgar, who might later get some kind of uh, very powerful iron hammer, fist iron thing. Anything in the farm fields? No, it doesn't seem to be. And yeah, the, the weather apparently has turned against us. Now it's raining. Great. Alright, so... Secret tunnel should be not too far. Ah, well, it's cleared up again. That is quite nice bit of weather. Despite the swampy si sounds. All right. Oh, we're uh, dealing with you. beetles. Hey. Ow, what the... Oh, a trap. Casphere, yeah. where are you going? Yeah. Really wish we would get, like, a good warhammer of some kind for... Yeah. He just keeps on charging on. Oh shit! Casafir, you loony! Yeah. 
Okay. No! Oh dear lord, they're just charging on ahead. Okay, uh, party. Party, party, party. I want to have the party uh, on check. Oh well. On we go in the upper charge. I did yell charge at the beginning, maybe it's my own fault here. Now they're inspired. Be less inspired, damn you! Casper, I don't think Smite Evil is gonna work against Beatles. I'm pretty sure they're not evil. They're Beatles. Ah! All you need is love. There's a quite a few uh, songs of the Beatles that I might classify them as slightly evil. Yesterday of them? Because I bloody hate that song. Oh, now I'm doing it too. Are we done with the charge? Okay. Thankfully, did not take too much damage there, and I am already healing thanks to my cool regeneration gear. Now, I think these beetles. Yeah, they drop bellies. That is actually very good, as those can be turned into essences, which we will need to actually enchant our weapons. Which uh, we will be doing actually quite soon, hopefully. Found a vein of ore. Once again, going to come into play quite soon. I like this creepy uh, quiet music now, now that we're done with the insane charge through the tunnels so came in here yes okay so now let's go for the quiet exploration through these tunnels see if we can actually find something of worth I, I am almost certain we're gonna run into Umber Hulks here. I just have a feeling like, you know, this is the Umber Hulk thing. The Beatles were just to warm up now. Yeah, I may be, call me paranoid. But this, uh, you see, it definitely seems like Umber Hulk territory. And Umber Hulk can be crazy scary. If they confuse your party, you are very screwed. Whoop. Ah, here we go again. Second charge. So we've got to watch a little bit with these stack beetles. They can actually hurt uh, quite bad if they actually land a hit. Don't underestimate those buggers. Okay, I really should start actually checking for traps. Our brave charge is a bit foolhardy, I'm beginning to feel. Not that it has really stopped us, and there's a spider there. Bone spider, even. Right, Niska, let's actually do this thing. Okay, here we go. I don't know if bone spiders are actually undead and evil or if they just look like it. I don't think they're evil, judging by our damage. Actually, they might be constructs. Kind of like bone golems, so not necessarily evil, just robots, pretty much. Okay, so scrolls and stuff. Spear and another bastard sword, like we need those. Short sword! Okay, 
that's half for some identification going on. Uh, throw this all to Ernie then. I am listening. Bastard sword plus two. Armor of thorns. What is that? Plus two armor with vampiric touch. Might that be better as to what Nishka uh, is yes. wearing? Rogue links. No, that's way better. That's so much better. I am listening. And she's wearing a mithril chain. Yeah, that's also better. Nope, so no use. Captain Spear. Plus three. Oh! Oh, this is actually quite good. Shame it's a spear, though. I'd like to keep Ellie with a, uh, you know, with a shield. Plus three and cold damage. That goes to. Follow me, everyone. Grab a buddy and let's head out. Because, yeah, that's just a solid, better upgrade. Excellent. Everyone, follow me. Yeah, no. I want to keep her with a sword. She is not though for damage dealing. She is backup spell support. I would say yes. Scrolls. Should have maybe taken sand along with us. Oh well. With his love for foiling lust and plots and everything. Oh, strength decrease. That's not fun. Okay, let's do something about that. Uh, we have restoration, right? Don't we? I do not. Mm, that's a foolish thing of me. Eleni. You do not either. Okay. I might have to rely on a I potion then yes. or something. Lesser restoration, yeah. There we go. And I guess we've made it through. Okay. Oh, well, hello there, Aldalon. We've been looking for you. Ah, yes, I remember you. You were the ones who were those interesting, had those interesting shards. Although I'm afraid I'm not so certain if I introduced myself the first time we met, did I? Yes, yes you did, Aldalon. Ah, excellent. Good to see that I haven't completely forgotten my manners. Tend to be a little forgetful at times, you know. Yes, yes we noticed that. I am aware. We're here to rescue you. Oh, oh yes, that's right. I was captured, wasn't I? Truth be told, I could have totally completely forgot about it. They gave me these tomes and some peace and quiet and well, I suppose I should I just uh, lost track of time, you see. In these books. They all concern some sort of horrific ritual, something about bringing shadows and power to all the recipients involved. I haven't gotten gotten all the details down yet. I wanted to do the thorough study first, but it would seem uh, terribly threatening. I don't care for it at all. Is there maybe a chance that they are doing this ritual right now? Oh, I certainly hope not. If so, they'd best be careful. The slightest disruption would have lethal consequences. Mark my words, it always pays to triple check all your wards and post guards to prevent interruptions if you ever plan to do something of the sort. You know, it does remind me of the one time where I let my wards down and let the messenger in and his kidnapper struck and completely un...
So they could be performing this ritual right now. And they probably are. Oh, I doubt they're doing anything of the sort. I told them it would be unwise and might cause untold damage. Well, to everyone except themselves. They seemed to agree and were quite receptive to my advice. You young people worry too much about your elders. We're not the ones running headlong into danger all the time. Yes, well, they lied to you. Look, how do we stop this ritual? Well, stopping it would be easy. Simply do what you young people do best. And kick down the door, make a lot of noise. Like my gardeners after one too many to swig from the wineskin. Do you know where they might be doing this ritual then? They would certainly need a lot of room and privacy for a ritual. So I would simply find a large open room with heavy doors and a lot of chanting. That would be the one, then. I'm going to find him. Go, go out and warn Neverwinter. Oh, well, all right. As long as I can come back later, you know. Save these books, and I mean, they even have a, have a copy of the Tome of Foul Darkness. Yeah, don't get the Tome of Foul Darkness. They will actually do get the Tome of Foul Darkness in RL. It's a good book. Very good for evil players and campaigns and all that. It's a D&D uh, source book, don't you know? Fine, I'm leaving. Just stay out of trouble. All right, all right. I'll leave at once. The whole rock is about nothing, as usual. Just my like my kidnapping and blacklegs. Uh. Right. Well, that does not seem like good news. And yeah, it's good news. We can probably easily disrupt this uh, ritual. Oh, and there's a book about ancient golem craft. Interesting. I'll be checking that out later. For now, I will leave it here. Next time, we'll continue with actually storming the castle. So, till then, bye-bye.